Well, I got a train going behind me here, but I'm out here splitting these bees. It hasn't gone exactly like I wanted it to, but I have had some success. And I just got into a hive over there, and I think it's a perfect opportunity to show you something I've been wanting to do for a while. It's called a Terranov split. And I think you'll find it interesting. It is a very easy way to split bees, and you don't have to worry about finding the queen. Lots of bees, uh, lots of brood, a fair amount of brood, and a couple of queen cells. And so I thought I'd show you how I do this. Now the idea is that you put a, some sort of a platform, got a little border in there supporting it, a little piece of plywood here. You put it a few inches from the entrance of the hive, and you put a sheet over this. I'm gonna shake all the bees onto this sheet right here, and bees naturally like to go up. And so they'll go up that ramp. The younger bees that don't know how to get back in the hive will just kind of go over the end and just kind of hang on the bottom. The queen will do the same thing. And it'll basically form a swarm on the underside of that board. And so then you've created an artificial swarm and the bees think they've swarmed. The queen has left the hive and the forager bees, the older bees, will go back in where the brood mostly is. I may put a frame of brood in the in the uh, new colony as well to give them a little head start. Now one of the things that I didn't understand when I did beekeeping for several years is that uh, I thought that when bees swarmed like all different ages of bees uh, went with the swarm. But what I've since read I assume is true is that in the swarm you mostly have your younger bees uh, like your nurse bees or others that may not have flown yet and so it makes sense that they wouldn't really know how to get back to the original colony or they wouldn't want to go back and those bees are primed to build wax and to uh, nurture the queen and to help the colony get established plus they're the younger bees and so they'll live a little bit longer while that queen gets going. This is quite the event there's a lot of uh, bees flying around when I've done this in the past and everyone I've done before has worked out well. Pull the frames and shake the bees. Oh, that one had a queen cell on. I didn't see it. Maybe it'll be okay. Maybe I'll just brush these off just in case. Yep, there's a queen cell. It's another one. Make sure I leave a couple of queen cells in the donor colony just to make sure they're able to replace their queen. I think there's also eggs in there as well. This old hive body right here was one my mentor built. I probably bought one of my original uh, first year or two I bought bees from him. That's how he used to sell. He used to make his own boxes. And so this thing has lasted a long time. That was in 2013 or 2014. And it's been a while since that frame's been removed. Good grief. Have bees in these boxes for a long time. Shake all the bees out of the box. And then what will happen is they'll start running back in. I'm going to bump them down here. I think every time I've done this before, I've had I probably queen cells in the colony. But I don't see why it wouldn't work, like for a walkaway split or a pretty much whatever kind of split you want to make. The bees will make a new queen that come back. It does take them a while to work their way back up the ramp, usually. Probably just going to take a frame of brood and just leave it out and put it in with the new colony. Just to kind of give them a little boost. I almost got a queen cell. Let's don't take that one. Now we just got to shake the rest of the bees.
And you'll see they're slowly climbing up this ramp. Get all those bees. They're starting to hang on the bottom just a little bit. I'm going to kind of flip some of these bees up onto the ramp. Like that. Maybe help encourage them to get going up. So this takes a while for them to go up the ramp, but you can kind of see them moving that way. Uh, it's pretty cool. And then, the, of course, the foragers are going back in. They're going back home. But when these bees get to the top, they just kind of fold right over the top. These are like the nurse bees or the younger bees that don't really know how to get back to the hive. It's how it's supposed to work anyway, so you don't have to find the queen. Just kind of let them get everything sorted out and go where they want to go. Then you dump the swarm in the box. Okay, so what we have now is basically a big old swarm. The bees have moved up the sheet, just past the sheet, and they've gone over the front and the side of the board, and now they're hanging there in a great big old swarm. And these bees, the foragers, are going back to the original hive. So now what do you do? Got a hive body set over here with a couple frames of brood in there to help give them a little kickstart. And I'm going to put those bees into this uh, hive body as if I was catching a swarm. Now there are a lot of bees over there. It's a big swarm. I think that would translate into at least a basketball sized swarm if they were hanging in a tree. They're pretty uh, comfortable. They're pretty much settled in. I think the bees think they've swarmed. They're hanging there just like a swarm. It's pretty cool how that works. That's kind of fun. Well, in true Bruce fashion, I removed the cinder block down there and this thing collapsed. So we got bees trying to go in there and bees trying to come in here. So it's not going to be as cool of a swarm catch as I thought it would be. I think we'll still get them how we want to do it. It's going to kind of shake the bees on the sheet into the colony. Now we got this swarm on here basically. And some of them fell on the ground as you can see, but look at that. Well, a lot of them did. So I'm just going to shake them in here. This is my little stand that collapsed on me a while ago. Now i got to figure out how to redirect these bees over here into the box. Uh, queen might be in there. Never saw her. These bees are starting to fan just like it's a swarm. These bees are starting to go in there. That did not go as I planned. I was going to make it a beautiful swarm catch. I don't know why I removed the cinder block before I was ready. But when I did, the whole thing just collapsed over. They're going in though. I wonder if the queen's over there. So they're trying to march over that way. All the way from over there, starting to head that way. They're calling them in. I think it's gonna work. Look at that. They're all fanning their wings. Just like we're catching a swarm. Still a few trying to get in a few stragglers. I'm going to go ahead and move this box to a new stand. And I did help them along a little bit. I kind of shook the grass around a little bit and everything and they went in. Let's look inside. So they're starting to work their way up into the frames. It's been a strange day up here. But that's how you do a tearing off split. Kind of fun. And we'll see if it works out.